for these poor young athletes. When they're drafted so early in the pros, the media and fans expect the most of them right away. Now, obviously, a large portion of these guys are ready for takeoff. Just look at LeBron James and Connor McDavid, for example. But some recent draft picks haven't reached their ceilings yet. As such, many pundits and fans are writing them off as dust. We must remind you, patience is a virtue. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present 10 busts who can still turn into stars. And a big shout out to my boy Steelers Chris for suggesting this list. We hope you enjoy it. Kevin White The Chicago Bears traded away Brandon Marshall in the 2015 offseason, then drafted wideout Kevin White seventh overall to replace the perennial pro bowler. Sadly, injuries have piled up on White, who only played five NFL games between 2015 and 17. And okay, now we're confident that it's time for his breakout. White just has to stay healthy. If he can do that in 2018, the Bears' offense could consist of him, star running back Jordan Howard, and young quarterback Mitch Trubisky. White could absolutely turn into a franchise receiver. Let's just bank on health, then the breakout will happen. Stanley Johnson The 2015 NBA draft doesn't look good so far, but Stanley Johnson, taken 8th overall by the Detroit Pistons, can still do it. We believe in him. Detroit has a nice core led by center Andre Drummond and 2018 pickup Blake Griffin. With defenses having to focus on these two men, Johnson now has the chance to work on his shooting and defense. Johnson has the tools to be a very effective small forward in the NBA. The supporting cast is there. Give him a few more years before you label him as a bust. Eric Ebron Many wonder why the Detroit Lions drafted Ebron with the 10th pick in 2014, when offense was not the issue for this team. Ebron's best year was 2016, when he had 61 catches for 711 yards and a touchdown. He's still young and can be a massive game changer. Maybe he just needs a change of scenery. Lucky for Ebron, he gets that with the Indianapolis Colts in 2018. Andrew Luck threw a total of 16 touchdowns to tight ends Dwayne Allen and Kobe Fleener in 2014. If he can stay healthy in 2018, Ebron could be the next tight end to benefit from having Luck as a quarterback. Jake Vertanen the insanely passionate Vancouver Canucks fan base can be quite tough on their prospects out of the gate. They drafted Jake Vertanen 6th overall in 2014, passing on other young, more established stars like Dylan Larkin and William Nylander. But Vertanen made a minor leap in 2017-18. With new head coach Travis Green, Big Jake began throwing his weight around and displayed his slick shot and speed. We know the tools are there to succeed. Give Jake more time in 2018-19. With the right line mates, they'll all come together and he'll blossom into that 20-30 to 30 goal power forward. Dansby Swanson Drafted first overall by the Arizona Diamondbacks in 2015, shortstop Dansby Swanson was supposed to be the next big thing, but months after being drafted, he was packaged to the Atlanta Braves in a five-player deal. Swanson has struggled in the minors, but he's still young people. The Braves are known for taking a while to develop their top prospects. Swanson plays above-average defense, which could make up for his lack of batting power. We still think he can be a star. The Braves have some great scouts and know how to build a team without throwing money around. Trust the process, and trust that Swanson will be an impact player very soon. Emmanuel Moutier Drafted 7th overall by the Denver Nuggets in 2015, Moutier never blossomed into a star. At the 2018 trade deadline, he was shipped to the New York Knicks which now gives Moutier the chance to save his career. Moutier joins the rebuilding Knicks team that has some other nice pieces in superstar Chris Topps, Porzingis, and Tim Hardaway. Everything is there for Moutier to finally get it going as a starting point guard. Devontae Parker Okay, Parker hasn't been a bust by any means, but it's safe to say that Miami Dolphins fans were hoping for more from the 14th overall pick in 2015. Through his first two seasons, Parker had just 80 catches for 1,238 yards and 7 touchdowns, but we think Parker can be a superstar wideout. With Ryan Tannehill hopefully returning to health in 2018 and beyond, the Dolphins need more from Parker. He's got the game-breaking speed in the hands. It's all there. And we think a Pro Bowl wideout is on the rise. Dylan Strom Drafted third overall in 2015, Strom hasn't played a full season in the NHL. The Coyotes are awful, and they have two choices. Trade him and let Strom start fresh somewhere else, just like they did with Anthony Duclair. Or let the man play and hope Strom finally unleashes it all. The man has no reason to play in the minors anymore. Maybe he just hasn't matured as fast as they would have liked, but he can still be that franchise center. Just give him the ice time. Coyotes, this is taking way too long. Jaleel Okafor Taken third overall by the Philadelphia 76ers in 2015, Okafor had an epic rookie season finishing with 17.5 points and 7 rebounds. 76ers fans were told to trust the process, thanks in large part to Okafor's status as a budding star. But here we are, just a few years later, waiting for Okafor to get going. He missed 32 games in his sophomore year, and Okafor saw his scoring totals go way down. The 76ers gave up and dealt him to the Brooklyn Nets during the 2017-18 season. There was no more room for Okafor and Philly, given the wealth of young talent they have. 
The Nets are awful, and Okafor will be given every chance to succeed. If he can stay healthy and keep it clean on the court, the 6'11 center could absolutely regain his rookie form and become a star once again. Sammy Watkins Okay, Watkins hasn't been a complete flop, but consider these facts. He was drafted fourth overall in 2014. The Bills used two first-rounders and a fourth-round pick to get him, and he was traded to the LA Rams in 2017 for EJ Gaines and a second-round pick. So yeah, we think Watkins should be better. He has one 1,000-yard season. 2016 and 17 were awful campaigns for Watkins, but he's so fast, so athletically gifted, and has tremendous hands. Now's not the time to give up on Watkins. Antonio Brown didn't become the NFL's top receiver until 2014 when he was 26. Watkins won't be 26 until June 2019. See, there's plenty of time for him to become a star. So what other busts could turn into superstars? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you have any ideas for cool videos, let us know down there too. Also, while you're down there, since you're already down there, hopefully leaving your ideas, if you like the video, then like the video, we'd really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed yet for more cool videos every single day, now's the time to do that by clicking the subscribe button down below. Until next time, tune into Total Pro Sports for more cool videos every single day.